This is a Hyundai Ionic HEV Plus blower and also the cooling coil assembly. A few important components. This is the blower, right? And your cabin air filter is here. That is your cabin air filter. So this thing blows the air. It blows in straight inside here. Right? And you have a radiator where the coolant goes in and coolant goes out. Okay, and this radiator is mounted here. There are some members claim that they have failure in this part. And look at this part also, the joints. The weld is very, very, very um, thin. Okay, and then you have the main blower itself, the main, uh, the heart of the aircon duct. This part here is quite interesting because you have one servo. If 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 there is one servo means there are fins inside. Okay. So you can see you can see the flappers. So these flappers will turn. So you got one servo two servo you got another servo here i took it out because i took out the radiator and then you got three servo motor and four servo motor so in other words there are four flappers working inside and how these flappers work well, let me just show you where i can show you right so that's how it works. So this is this is where the cooling coil will be. That cooling coil will be inside here, and this pipe is going up. Will go to the engine bay. The two pipes for the refrigeration, right? And bottom here you have the cover. Okay. This cover where the cooling coil when it condense all the water will drop into this cover, this catchment cover. And then eventually there is a hose inside here. And this hose will basically directly go out of the car, under the car to take out all the water, to drain up all the water. Right? So this cover is mounted here. Okay. Now, the cooling coil was leaking. The cooling coil was leaking. Let me just show you. So the cooling coil basically sits inside here. Right. So you can see, it sits inside this cover. And it was leaking here. So the refrigerant was basically leaking inside this catchment cover. And maybe part of it was going out of the engine or maybe dripping down. And the smell was not that quite obvious. Why? Because this cover, the ceiling is very good. You can see there is a groove here. and you have a, a plate coming plastic plate coming out here so this plastic plate fits perfectly in this groove so the chances for you to smell the faulty smell is very very low that's why i did not smell any faulty smell but i did smell something weird though because when we on the aircon the the, the 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 air is forced through the condenser to go out so that's why I noted. And another thing, 
if your aircon blower is not that cold, I mean not that efficient, meaning which is not blowing, is 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 turning and you can hear the noise, woo, but you don't have sufficient air output. So you might want to investigate your blower because inside here there is a blower. Okay. And this blower could be dirty all the dust around it all right so how to clean this very easy this is accessible very very easily under your glove compartment box under your dashboard okay so how are you going to clean it very simple you open up one screw there are three screws one there two here and three here disconnect the wire this whole thing comes out with the blower you just have to clean up the blower with some uh, some water or maybe some with a wet cloth with a brush and you put it back it will be fine I'm not sure I can show you from here let me just show you yeah I think you can see it from here the blower ah that's the blower you can see the blower there let me just put a light here Right, so that is the blower. So currently, this blower I just clean is is very clean now. Okay, so when the blower is very clean, you you will get a very good uh, air su air suction. Or I mean the air output. Okay, to your aircon provider, your filter also should be clean because it's directly going to the filter now. All right. So this is the blower unit. So nothing much now that's about it and your blower here also you have one servo right this servo is basically to control the main flaps here the main flap this is where the air comes in from the out out door from the car goes in here and there's a flap inside here okay so if your air is circulating in the car, normally this thing is closed. You only have a bit of air coming in. Okay. And that is how the aircon works. So they gave some thin padding or some insulation, sound insulation from 3M. Mm. Uh, also same goes to the main center console unit. And yeah, nothing much then. Uh, why we have all these holes here is because we have this sensor which is basically mounted inside here to tap the temperature of the cooling coil so I think that's about it oh there's some information here Actually, it's available in the manual, but the manual is all drawing. This is real, real equipment. So hopefully it helps to get some idea on how you can maintain your aircon. Or know what's wrong with your aircon when something is not right. Okay, thank you.